Hello guys, welcome back to United Brothers, I'm Damon. I'm Robert. And welcome back to episode two of Sketch and Fly. Oh. <laughs> Scratch and Fly. Oh, I just had to do it. I, I, know, I know you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, first episode went pretty well. Uh, mine didn't fly at all. His, his actually flew twice. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. flew. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it flies better than that thing. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, first episode is up, actually both parts of it, so we're actually starting episode two today. Yeah. And uh, what do you have in mind? Ooh, I have something. So I heard you have a new uh, new rule you want to do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be at least three feet wingspan. Okay. Um, you can go bigger than that or uh, not whatever, sure. whatever you want. But, okay. Yeah. So it has to be minimum three foot wingspan. Okay. okay. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of power plants, that kind of thing. Cool. Nope, none of that. Alrighty, well, I, it's funny actually, I think I still have enough foam board left I might be able to do what I'm thinking of. What about you? Yeah, I'm going to have to buy more. For sure. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Well, uh, I guess let's, uh, I'll head home. You get started on yours, I'll get started on mine, and then uh, we'll regroup once we get these things done and show each other. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alrighty guys, so for my plane, I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Uh, I'm going to be doing a biplane. I really wanted to make one of those. Um, I decided on a Soviet plane um, from the 1970s. Uh, the PZL M15 Bank Flickover, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, looks really interesting. I have a couple pictures up here, what I want to do. Uh, but what's really cool about it is that it has a jet engine on it. Yeah. So I've been wanting to do something with a, like, a ducted fan. Um, I'm actually printing one right now, a 55 millimeter. If that's not big enough, then I'll take one out of my Habu STS, which is a 70 millimeter. So, uh, we'll see how that goes, and, well, let's start cutting foam. Alrighty, I got my foam laid out here. I'm gonna drop the wings and then start cutting them out. Top and bottom wings are done, so now I'm going to start on the hardest part, the fuselage.
Alrighty, I got the wings attached to the fuselage. I actually had to remake the main wing here because uh, I made the fuselage too big. So that bottom one was actually the size I was going to originally be with for the top. But yeah, I had to redo it and a bit of scrap piece of foam I was using to paint on. <laughs> but I'll paint over that. So now it's time to start on the tail. Alrighty, so I've been kind of thinking about what I want to do, and I think I decided I want to do an F4 Phantom. Now, I know this is actually going to be quite a challenging build just because of the weird angles that the wings do and also the tail on the airplane. Um, I'm also going to do a ducted fan application, I think, which is going to be really cool, but you guys might have saw my last airplane. It definitely wasn't the best thing I could have done, but it was also my first time. I'm going to really try to step up the detail on this one just because I love that airplane. So I think what we should do, let's get started on building this thing. Already, I got the Phantom's wings laid out here. I'm going to go ahead and make the cuts for the ailerons now. Alrighty, I went ahead and made the double cuts for this thing. We now actually have working ailerons on this guy. Um, I made sure to make these a lot larger after the lessons I learned from the first video. Uh, so now I think it's time we glue these guys together and then we'll start working on the fuselage. Oops. Well, looks like all 
I'll be sweeping later. <laughs> Idiot. Idiot. Alrighty, uh, the wings are all put together here. These things turned out freaking awesome. Uh, I got the upswept the way I want for the F4, as you guys can see here. So uh, I'd say it's about time we move on to the fuselage. Alrighty guys, I've been hard at work here. I actually started the fuselage, as you can see. Uh, went ahead and made a nose cone. I will say I'm actually quite proud of this for my first time doing this kind of thing, but yeah, it's starting to look really good. It looks really tall at the moment just because the F4 is quite a big airplane, um, but pretty soon it should start coming together, but you guys will see what I'm doing here. So let's get back to it. guys I just got the tail done I don't want to toot my own horn but I am really proud of myself on this one this thing turned out absolutely awesome I think the sweep angle is perfect it definitely looks like the tail of an F4 I think I got the shape and everything just right so I am really happy with how this turned out so I think I'm gonna have to call it a night for tonight but uh, I can't wait to get back to work on this thing tomorrow and uh, see how much further we can get but yeah so uh, I'll see you then Alrighty guys, I got the ducted fan unit set up the way I want here. As you guys can see, I created a very nice pedestal for this thing. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to my wife because if it wasn't for her obsession with this place, I wouldn't actually have a medium drink cup when I needed. So now, just in case she doesn't like the shout out, I guess she can literally tell me to put a lid on it. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. So uh, yeah, let's get back to the Phantom's fuselage, shall we? Alrighty guys, check this thing out. This thing has turned out absolutely awesome. I am really happy that this thing's turning out so far. So as you guys can see, we actually got the 64 millimeter ductive fan unit installed this evening. Uh, did put a nice back brace or back support for the aircraft as well. Uh, we made sure we reinforced the wings along with gotten a few parts of the body finished. So this thing is really coming together. I still have a little bit more work to do. I have to finish uh, doing the fuselage here. I'm also gonna make some passageways for the airflow to actually be directed towards the fan. Um, I am going to incorporate the actual canopy of the aircraft with the battery hatch, which is going to be right here. So uh, yeah, I'll get back to work on the thing tomorrow. <laughs>
So I don't know if I can come up with the words to describe how happy I am with this thing so far. Um, but I will say this evening I've actually gotten both aileron servos installed along with both elevator and I also got a little bit of the fuselage going here and I also did a couple of vertical slats in order to try to guide the air into the ducted fan here. At least that's the idea anyway. Looks wise I am extremely happy with this thing. The only thing I'm kind of concerned about now is how much weight this thing's starting to push. I'm wondering if a flat board application wasn't too great of an idea. Um, I'm definitely going to get Damon's opinion tomorrow when I actually reveal it to him because I'm going to see if I should try to add an airfoil to this. I know it look, wouldn't look as good, but I do want this thing to fly. This thing's definitely my pride and joy so far, at least on this series. I uh, will definitely say, not to toot my own horn, but I think I've definitely stepped up my game since the first episode. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can get this thing done tonight, shall we? Alrighty guys, while well, I worked throughout the night, it is now 5 a.m. and this thing is finally officially done. Just look at this thing. I am so happy how this turned out. Uh, so this guy is actually a 64 millimeter ducted fan unit running on a 2200 four cell. So I hope this thing has enough power, but as I said, I'm a little bit worried with it being a flat board plane if it's too heavy now. So if it is, I'm gonna have to either add an airfoil to it or I might just send it, we'll see what happens. I am really curious to know what Damon built, which we're going to be finding out here uh, actually tomorrow, so I cannot wait to show him mine. I think he's going to be blown away, especially compared to the last monstrosity I built. I think I definitely stepped up my game in terms of just the build itself, so uh, yeah. So I think it's time to head to bed, and uh, we'll go ahead and reveal this to him here quite shortly. Alrighty, so it's been two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, me and you have both been really busy working on our new projects. Yep. Uh, both of us, actually I got mine done this morning at 5 a.m. <laughs> I've been done for a few days. Okay. Yeah. So uh, you said you had to get some more falling board, right? I did. Okay. I didn't have to buy any extra, but I used pretty much what I had left. I messed up on my wings. Uh, it turned out a bit bigger than 3 feet. Okay. Yeah. Um, you guys, <laughs> if you guys had already seen, you guys have already seen what mine looked like. On my way to his house today, actually, I had some joker pull out in front of me 10 feet. So I had to slam on the brakes. Part of my wing got a little damaged, but I fixed it, so hopefully it's not too noticeable. Yeah. That's a little bit of a pain. So uh, I think it's time to reveal these. Yep. So and, uh, I won last time. Do you want to see mine first? Oh, you're first. Okay. Yep. All right, close your eyes. All righty. Are you sure you're ready for this? I really stepped up my game. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and go ahead. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You like that? That's exactly the plane I thought you were playing. Dude. You like that? That's sick. Here, check it out. Wow. <laughs> I see why it took you so long. To yeah, play. is it cool? You like that? Good lord. <laughs> this is a McDonnell Douglas F4 Phantom. So in case you guys aren't familiar, this was uh, the premier fighter during Vietnam. Yeah. So, very, very proud of this one, especially compared to my last monstrosity. Dude, this thing's sick. You like that? Yeah. Well, thanks, man. Dr. Definitely, Daniel. definitely proud of the difference. Oh, by the way, look what's in there for the... <laughs> <laughs> like how I use a medium Taco Bell cup. Yeah, it's a Taco Bell cup. Yep. That's a good idea. Yep. Thank what, you. What size fan is that? Uh, 64 mil. 64, okay. So this is actually uh, the 64 millimeter from the, in case you guys have been long time viewers, the uh, F-15 E-Flight model we did. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, and so uh, I made sure there's actual ducting in there so that way the air gets to the fan. Mm -hmm. ESC is sitting up here, so that's why I made a little bit of airflow for it, that way it doesn't get too hot. Nice. But yeah. So yeah, the wing, uh, this part here, the tail, I actually did this kind of modular. I actually built the wings. I did the nose part and then I did the tail 
all in kind of modules, put the tail on, then did the rest of the body because the tail was the most like time consuming. Right. Yeah. Just to get that right angle and everything. Yeah, I had to like I had to draw out ways to make it still look like the real plane, though it's flat board. So I, is, I hope you like that. That is sick. Thank you. I really hope this flies. I do too because I just the only thing I'm concerned about because I kind of want to get your opinion on it is it is it going to be a little heavy for a flat board plane? Um. Or do you think it might have enough power? My only thing is, oh. since it's an F4, it will fly like this, so hopefully that little high alpha might be able to make it work, but yeah. I don't know if I should add an airfoil or not to oh. it. We will see. I hope those uh, surfaces are big enough. Uh, look at the tail. I definitely stepped on the... I didn't want the other ones to be oh, too yeah. big, but the tail is what I really... Tail is tail massive. Yeah, I want to yeah. make sure the tail had enough throw. That'll so. be fine. Yeah. Yeah, you like that, huh? Dude, that's sick. Thank you. There you go. Definitely uh, upgrade from the last. Oh, oh yeah. All right, cool. Let me put this down. I'm excited to see what you made. All right, let me go grab it. Okay. Alright. Okay. Close my eyes. Let's see. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. Yeah. You did Duck to Fan too? Yes, I did. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is badass. <laughs> You're not kidding. I actually have no idea what this is. So, yeah. what, what's the story behind this guy? This is the M15 biplane. Okay. It's an agriculture plane from uh, the 70s era of uh, Russia. Really? Yeah. Old Soviet plane, huh? That's yeah. really cool. Uh, they, has, they actually have jet versions of this in real life? Or? That is the jet version. Oh, okay, sick. All right. It was actually too expensive to run, so they discontinued it within like five years. Holy crap, dude. This is <laughs> freaking cool. Yeah. Oh, man, you actually put landing gear on there. Uh -huh. I love that. Front Nero's wheel is steerable. Oh, my God, I love the rudder. <laughs> that is so freaking cool, dude. So how long does it take you to make? Like a week and a half? Week maybe? and a half, okay. yeah. I had to remake the top wing because it was too small. So okay. the top wing I thought it was going to be is now the bottom wing. I love how you paint. The paint job looks awesome. Yeah. I did like an eggshell off-white with the red tip. I love it. I didn't paint mine just because I was like, I kind of wanted to see if it would work at all first. You know, I don't want you to be disappointed. Right. But uh, yeah, that, that is cool. I can't believe we both deducted fans. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Mine's a 70 mil. Yeah, okay. It's actually from my Habu STS. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I wish I would have said something because I have two 70 mils just sitting in my house. Oh, I don't want to give it away. I know. But can you put <laughs> that back in your jet when you want? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, dang. I, wow. I was not expecting it's that. It's a bit at all. bigger. <laughs> when you're talking, for some reason, I was thinking you were doing like a four engine TU 95 bear, like their rush, like their nuclear bomber. No, I thought you were doing no. something like that. So that's freaking cool. What's cool is these tanks on the sides were actually for like the chemicals and stuff. Oh, that's okay. That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For like spraying fields and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I'd actually never heard of this plane. This one actually kind of stunned me a little bit. That's really cool. Yeah. So, congrats, man. That thing looks awesome. Oh, wait. I got to do something. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Put this down. I'm nervous. Get back. Chip. Yeah. Let's make sure it meets requirements. Um. Yeah. So real quick, uh, just a little disclaimer. Nope. You now hear me out. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> you didn't say it had to be three feet flat. It is three feet. Hello. <laughs> wow. Look how off it is. Yeah. Well, it's because uh, <laughs> three feet away for you. Yeah, so okay. I did measure these when they were flat to be three feet, but you didn't uh -huh. say it had to be three feet flat. Yeah. It was three feet when I put these on. Though. Trying to bend the rules, I see. Technically, yes. Yeah, see, see a little, little bend there. Yeah, both both sides. Yeah, there's a little bit of bend there. Yeah. Uh -huh. No, uh, I thought about that. I might should go just a touch more, but they are three feet if they were flat out. I will leave that to you guys if that qualifies. That's fine. If it does not. If this flies, even if I lose, I'll still be happy if it flies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, he didn't say three feet flat. He said three feet. So three feet when wingspan these... usually means the entire thing. Yeah, if these were flat, it's a three foot wingspan. Okay. I might have bent it just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. So yeah. we're just going to make him just glue on a little bit like that. What? And <laughs> no. And run the lines. No. Okay. It's fine. Alrighty guys, well if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing and also make sure you tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Mm -hmm. And we have a Patreon, so a bunch of cool bloopers and stuff oh, like yeah. that on there. Oh yeah, and uh, you guys will actually get uh, sneak peeks early to these as well when they're yes. done. Yes. So yeah. Alrighty guys, my name is Robert. I'm David. Thank you guys so much for watching United Brothers and we will see you guys again next time. Bye. Bye. Oh, oh. oh god. No. <laughs> I did not aim it on Dan on purpose or anything. That's why I just turned around. <laughs>